I know you. You are a super smart musician. You probably already know that building your email list is important. You've heard it from friends, other musicians, and probably people like me. And so you've put it at the top of your to-do list. But every time that you go to work on it, you look at it and you say, oh, this seems so complicated. I don't know where to start. I'm feeling overwhelmed. I don't know what steps I need to take to start building my email list. So maybe I'll just do something else on my list today and work on this tomorrow. And this keeps happening. In fact, I've heard this from several of my Female Musician Academy students. My goal with this video is to get you out of overwhelm and into action-taking mode by giving you three steps that you can use right now to get started on building that email list. Step one is going to be to gather your inner circle. Your inner circle are people that you already have normal contact with throughout your day, week, month, or year. These are people that you communicate with by email, by phone, by text, by direct message, or you have a lot of back and forth with on social media. These are people that are a regular part of your life or a regular part of the lives of people that are close to you. That means people that you work with, people that you currently are in some kind of a, a club or a community event with. These are people with which you already have something in common. For example, family members, friends, current friends and past friends, friends of family and family of friends, Think about all those friends of your parents that they have bragged about you and they still talk about you. These are people that are excited to support you. How about current coworkers or past coworkers? How about the parents of your kids' friends? Sometimes we communicate with them more than we do with our own friends. How about past teachers, past friends from college or high school that you've gotten reacquainted with on social media. If you really start to think about this, this is quite a big group of people. And I can pretty much guarantee if you go and try to communicate with these people and ask them if you can put them on your email list, you can get to your first 100 subscribers pretty quickly. So what I want you to do is to create a very simple template script to contact them. Something like, hey, I'm just gathering together all the people that have some interest in my music career and love coming to my shows and finding out what's going on and I would love to put you on that list. And I promise to make all my communications extremely relevant. And of course, I'll respect your privacy and not give out your information. If this is okay with you, can I please have your best email address? And then I'll add you to the list. Now the big mistake to avoid here is to send out a mass mailing this way. Do not mass email people. Don't mass Facebook Messenger people. Do not send out a group text. I want you to do these individually. I want you to personalize each one in some way so they know it's really meant for them and they feel valued. I know this is time consuming, but I promise you the percentage of returns that you're gonna get is so much higher than if you send out any kind of mass communication, it will be completely worth it. Once these start to come in, add them individually to the list, and then beyond these, go out and gather anybody that has already given you permission somewhere online. I know many of you have had Reverb Nation lists or old email lists that people have given you permission. Maybe people have bought your items on CD Baby or some other place online and you have their email address from that. Just go gather all of those, put them on the list. I realize some of these are old. We'll find out when we send our first email if they're actually valid. But since they gave you permission, you may as well already add them. Step two is to create your free premium download, what I like to call your freemium. Now I know for years it's been give away a free song and this still works. And you can use places like Noise Trade 
where people are actually signing up to get free music this way, to get this out to the right kinds of people. But there are other things that you can give away as a free download or a free exclusive access. Maybe you create a video just for them. Maybe you give them exclusive access to some videos you made that were behind the scenes when you actually created the music. Maybe you give them a special live performance that no one else can get. Think outside of the box, get creative, and think about what your fans would be interested in getting that doesn't cause too much effort for you, but could create something that's really cool and exciting for them. Then I suggest, once you've gathered all your email addresses for your first 100 subscribers, that you send this out to them and say, hey, I've got a cool surprise for you. Since you gave me your email address and you're on my list now, I wanted to send you something cool. This is only available to people that are on my email list. You're also going to be promoting this everywhere you can, on social media, in your live streams, and at your shows. Think about how you can get people to sign up for your email list at your shows. Maybe you talk about this free song that you're giving away or free video after actually performing that song so people are already excited about it. Come up with a really cool monthly giveaway and let people at your shows know that they will be entered into that giveaway every month if they sign up for your email list. And then just make it really easy for them. Have a list at your table. Even have someone from your team go around and sign people up. I know I got on a few email lists this way. People came up to me and it's really hard to say no to someone when they come right up to your face and ask you if you'd be willing to support the artist. Your final step in getting started on building your email list is to create a welcome email. This is something that you'll send to people as they get added to your list. So once you add your 100 subscribers at the beginning that you've gotten through the hard work of communicating with them individually, then you can send out a mass mailing to all of them with your welcome email. Your welcome email should be engaging, it should tell a little bit of your story, and should give them some kind of call to action. Maybe it's to follow you on a certain social platform that you spend the most of your time with. Maybe it's to follow you on Spotify so you can know when you release new music. Maybe it's just to respond and find out what they like about your music, but definitely give them a call to action in that first email. Once you've gathered all of your subscribers, you definitely need to choose an email subscriber service that you can use to deliver these in the correct way. Please do not use your Gmail account or your Outlook account and group email a bunch of people. This is totally not cool with those services. It can get you kicked off and it can really piss people off. Trust me, I've gotten on some of these lists and there's absolutely no way to unsubscribe, which is really annoying. So don't be that annoying artist. Do it correctly. Find a service that works for you, whether it's something like Banzoogle, which I absolutely love, or you can use something like MailChimp or ConvertKit. That's actually the one that I use, but use something reputable and that will allow you to send out mass emails in a way that's going to convey yourself as a professional. If the service that you choose doesn't allow for automation, then you can just send these welcome emails out in batches, maybe once a week as you add new people to your list when people are signing up at your show or they're coming to your website and signing up that way. Hopefully the service that you have does allow for automation so you can set it up so as soon as someone signs up to your list or you add them, it automatically sends them that welcome email. Any way that we can automate what we're doing as musicians and save more time for being creative, the better, right? Of course, there are a lot more steps to building your email list once you get your first 100 subscribers and you get everything set up. But I just wanted to give you three steps because I know if I give you more, you're just gonna be overwhelmed and you're gonna keep pushing that to the bottom of your to-do list. So follow those three steps and you can start getting your email list up and running in the next week. I promise it's not as hard as you've made it out to be in your own mind. If you've done these three steps and now you're wondering, now what? Well, there's definitely lots of training out there, including in my Female Musician Academy or inside my book, The Musician's Profit Path. 
But if you want to know how to turn these email subscribers into people who are asking you to do house concerts and people that are really willing to support you in a crowdfunding campaign and really nurturing them to become super fans, you're definitely going to want to go check out my free masterclass called how to attract your 1,000 true fans without wasting valuable time and money on the wrong marketing tactics. It is free, so go over to musiciansprofitpath.com to get registered now. I cannot wait to hear how you grow your email list using these three steps to get started.